18, two electrons are separated by a distance of 3 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. So that's 3 millionths of a meter, right? Or 3 micrometers. So they're not very far apart. What is the magnitude, uh, what's the magnitude and direction of the electrostatic forces that each exerts on the other? Alright, let's draw a picture here. So here's our first electron. And it's not very far away, but we're going to put it far away as though we're zoomed way in. These electrons are a little ways away from each other. They are 3 times 10 to the negative 6 meters apart. And they want to know the magnitude and the direction of the electrostatic force or forces that they exert on each other. So let me ask you this. Do you remember when you have two charged particles that are near each other and they're the same charge, do they attract or repel? They repel, right? Opposites attract and like charges repel. So you already know that the electro electrostatic forces that they're exerting on each other are going to push them apart. So right off the bat without doing any math you can eliminate choices two and four because those would promote them being attracted, being pushed together, they're actually going to be pushed apart. Okay, but how do we actually calculate how much they're being pushed apart and what that elect what those electrostatic forces are? For that, we have to find the right formula, and I went to the formula sheet and found this one. Now, up until this point, we haven't done much in the way of electricity, and that's the thing about the regents. They may switch back and forth on you, so now we're calculating electrostatic force where we're talking about charges and um, electrons and we may be in the next problem going right back and talking about work and energy and kinematics and all those kinds of things again. So you have to be prepared to choose the right formula for that problem and quickly switch gears and, and get back on track. Okay, that said, how do we find the electrostatic force? K is a constant, so that one you can look up directly from the table, but I'll jot it down over here. K equals 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. And the units that it has are newtons times meters squared over coulombs squared. And coulombs are the unit of electrical charge. Don't worry too much about these units. These are just the units that you'll need, and you'll see when we plug it all in, in order to get everything to cancel out so that at the end you're just left with newtons for the force. And you'll see that it'll do that. Q are the charges of the individual particles. And they can be any charge for any particle, but in this case, it's not just any particle, it's electrons, which is the elementary charge. So if you look this one up in the table, or you might even remember it if you do enough of these problems for practice, the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. That's the charge of an electron, or you might say one elementary charge. And then lastly, you have this r in the denominator. That's the distance between the particles. So these two particles are 3 times 10 to the 6 meters apart. That's your r. So I'm not even going to write that one down again. I'll just put r equals that. OK, and now it's a matter of plugging it all in. And then we can solve the electrostatic charge. So it's 8.99 times 10 to the ninth Newton meter squared per coulomb squared, all divided by Oh, sorry, I forgot the charges in the numerator there. And there's two of them, and they're the same. So instead of writing this twice, I'm just going to write 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, and I'm going to square it. That's all in the numerator. And then the radius, or the, the distance between the two squared. 3 times 10 to the negative 6 meters, and that's being squared. All right, so let's get out our handy dandy calculator, make it happen. We got 8.99 second e 9, and that's being multiplied times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, but then that's being squared, and then it's being divided by. 3 times 10 to the negative sixth, and that's also being squared in the denominator. And what's that equal? 2.557, so we'll just say 2.6, or 2.56 
times 10 to the negative 17. And what are the units? Coulombs, and then it's being squared, so that's Coulombs squared, cancels with this. And then meters squared in the denominator, meters squared in the numerator, and you're just left with newtons. That's exactly what we want. That is the electrostatic force. Best choice is 1.